now to the death of America's top diplomat in Afghanistan and the architect of much of our policy there. We were very sad to learn that Richard Holbrook had died last night in Washington after undergoing emergency heart surgery. And according to a U.S. official, his last words to his Pakistani surgeon were, quote, you've got to stop this war in Afghanistan. Martha Raddatz has much more. I thank you for your confidence in offering me this daunting assignment. Anyone who knew Richard Holbrook knows what a force he was, a man with enormous energy and confidence. He is simply uh, one of the giants of American foreign policy. I'm sure there are some shoulders here tonight that are still a little bit sore from his arm twisting. Holbrook fell ill on Friday during a one-on-one -on -one meeting with Secretary Clinton complaining of chest pains. He was rushed by ambulance to nearby George Washington Hospital where all weekend doctors performed a number of surgeries to repair an aortic tear. Ultimately, however, they were unable to control the bleeding. The president issued a statement saying, the United States is safer and the world is more secure because of the half century of patriotic service of Ambassador Richard Holbrook. Secretary Clinton said, America has lost one of its fiercest champions and most dedicated public servants. This is a sad day for me, for the State Department, and for the United States of America. In a career that spanned from Vietnam to brokering peace accords in Bosnia, Holbrook was used to challenges and never shied away from using blunt language to get his point across. It's silly to even respond to such a ludicrous charge. It was his experience and straightforward approach that led President Obama to tap Holbrook for the Afghanistan-Pakistan job just days after taking office. Ambassador Holbrook is one of the most talented diplomats of his generation. Richard Holbrook died with his wife, Kati, his children and stepchildren by his side. He was 69 years old. And he was such a presence and such a force. I want to bring in Martha Raddatz now, along with Jake Tapper, who was at the White House. And Martha, you just came back from Afghanistan and Pakistan. And so what are the implications of our, of our policy going forward now? Well, Robin, I think it, the stamp of Richard Holbrook was already on that policy in a very strong way. And the review of the Afghanistan policy is essentially done, so it will go forward. Uh, Admiral Mike Mullen just released a statement that said, I know Richard Holbrook would want our work to continue unabated, and I know we will all feel his bully presence in the mm. room as we do so. As you know, Ro no, Robin, he was a very, very tough negotiator, but they want consistency. They want someone with a strong personality. He is is going to be very, very difficult yeah, to replace. he earned that nickname, the bulldozer. And Jake, at the White House, I know the president's going to be meeting with some of his top Afghan advisors and, 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 and talking about having to move, of course, forward at this point and how to go best to go about doing that. That's exactly right. And uh, of the people around that table, there are very few who are focused exclusively on Afghanistan and Pakistan, and his candor will be missed. I was told by a top official who will be in that room uh, later today, later this morning, uh, and his expertise, of course. There aren't that many individuals uh, who are or so larger than life. Uh, the job of special representative to Afghanistan and Pakistan uh, is a job that basically requires its own secretary of state. The region is so complicated. Uh, and. One of the issues going forward is that there are not that many people uh, who can fill that role to be the special representative just to focus on Afghanistan and Pakistan. All right, Jake and Martha, thank you very much. I know it's going to be a sad day in Washington, a sad day for all of the country, and of course we're thinking of his family. Thank you both very much.